Okay, my good, wonderful, outstanding friends, this is Roger once again. I started Mud Fossil University to really create a school that was designated 100% to truth, no profit, strictly about truth. Now, this is Charlton Heston. This goes back quite a number of years, back to 1996. And this is about the mysterious origins of man. And new things have been discovered which are not being allowed to be seen such as what you see right here now i want him to make his statements and then i will make mine here goes one of the greatest mysteries of mankind is where did we come from scientists and philosophers alike have pondered this elusive question and put forth many explanations but in truth no one really knows good evening i'm charlton heston in their search for answers, scientists gather evidence and develop theories based on what they observe. But sometimes evidence turns up that completely contradicts this. Footprints resembling modern man's were discovered in Texas, side by side with dinosaur tracks. Does this mean that man lived millions of years ago at the time of the dinosaur? Okay, my friends, this is going to be very interesting, to say the least, I hope. Now, this is, I'm Roger, Mud Fossil University, and I discovered mud fossils, and I have things that nobody has ever seen before that relate to our ancient past. And I'm serious. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. These are, these are actual creatures that were fossilized during the Great Flood. And when I show you how they determine how old the earth is, you'll realize why all of this is not understood our history. And I mean totally not understood. Now, bones don't necessarily have to be white bony bones. In this mud fossil flood, which was a lot of salt waters and it was a hot flood because it was during the phase when Venus was almost impacted Earth, and for seven days it approached Earth, and they said there were seven days of light, the moon became as bright as the sun, the sun became seven times brighter than that, and, and then it wrenched the Earth, and all kinds of things, it crossed our hydrogen into the oxygen, forming water, which enveloped the Earth with water, I mean completely saturated the Earth, plus the fountains of the deep burst because the, the, the whole fabric of the earth crushed as these two spheres almost impacted. The result was a terrible hot water flood. And this is the result right here. I'm going to show you. And I can, if you can find a better reason than I will show you, I'd love to hear about it. Because this is literally Triassic rock. This is a human footprint pressed down through the gray clay through the red bed and then a black cap came on top of that and I have that here as well and it is a big thick black cap because when the earth almost was destroyed and the hot waters boiled literally boiled the flesh off of these creatures that's why lungs are just exposed like this when you get down into the organs and the fascia and what they call the marrow then you have bones, you have chunky little pieces that are, are not erodible like flesh. That's why we have all this red clay everywhere. That is literally boiled off flesh. And it created the red bed, which is this right here. You see that red bed? That's boiled flesh. And that was down here. And then on top of that was a layer of gray clay. This guy came running down, boom, stepped in the gray clay. He pushed it below this red bed. Now, when I found this, the, the top was, everything was here. And it, it just came off because it just broke apart at this seam. That's the red bed. Now, remember, the red bed had gray clay on top. So what should I see if I look underneath this? I should see gray clay. Gray clay. And here's the red bed. And here's the wet footprint. And here is literally the balls of your feet. 
this is identical to your footstep. If you, I, I put my feet, foot in here, and it is identical. And the guy came running across here. When it was wet, his heel hit here. He went right in like this and went that way. And these are what we call suck-ups. You see those little dimples? Oops. Come on over here, buddy. You see those little dimples right there? You go into a really wet mud, put your hand in and go, that's what happened there. You see there's no suck-ups on the sides because there's not enough suction there to make these little dimples. All right, and this is really literally the balls of your feet right here. <laughs> that's what they call the balls of your feet. And the toes go right in there, and that's where the heel hit first because he was running like hell. And this is the gray or red bed pushed down, I mean the gray clay pushed down through the red bed. And the red bed was originally up here, and that would have been red all the way across. And the gray clay was up on top, so now the, red, the gray clay, whoops, let me back this off, pushed itself down. Right, so that's that. I say that's the Triassic rock, and it all happened on the same day. This was wet. The gray clay was wet, and the black cap, which I will show you now, was also wet. All at the same day, not over 65 million years. This was right on top of that. Now the only way these suck-ups could have been preserved would be to have that happen instantaneously over the top. Now, the story in the history is, and this is what we want to find out, is our real history true? And it does not appear to be anywhere near true. Velikovsky was the guy that did the research that talks about this flood happening 1500 BC. That's just 3500 years ago. So we got some thinking to do.